Hey, what's going on, Trav? It's Red again, just seeing you guys off with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So, once again, I'm gonna have one of these little crazy matrix talks um, about the system and how it's been um, designed, should I say. Because um, I just went down um, Dalston Market, really Road and that, um, to get some bits and pieces from the shopping, for shopping. Because I'm not trying to support them big corporations like Tesco and Sainsbury's as much. I'm not saying I won't support them, that if I need to get some bits and pieces from there. But um, yeah, I'm trying to um, more um, give my money to the little businesses, man. Sometimes you have to pay extra, but um, you know, shit happens sometimes. Um, so, um, yeah, one thing I've noticed is um, when you go every time, no, one thing I've noticed, should I say, yeah, um, every time I'm either in East London, North London or South London, yeah, I don't really venture to West London much still. Um, but the way I've clocked it, how um, the system is designed, yeah, um, is like certain shops are placed in certain areas to keep, um, I would say the vibration low, should I say, to a certain degree. Um, because one thing I noticed, um, I went to Richmond Park, I think last week or whatever, and like the area is just, it's a nice area, isn't it? So it's like, all right, cool. So in nice, like nice areas, um, you start seeing, um, they've got like Planet Organic and Whole food shops and farmers markets and stuff like that. So it's like, all right, cool. But then when you come back to the ends now, it's like, all right, Man's just seeing chicken shops, chicken shops, chicken shops, kebab shops, um, just shit food, shit foods, shit food shops, should I say? And it's like raw. It's like um, it's very noticeable, isn't it? Like that makes sense. Like um, you know, should I say? Just going to Richmond, hopped off the train now, and it's like go out, cool, like. I ain't see, I, did I see a betting shop? I might have seen one betting shop maybe. Um, but it's like, yeah, got off. And it's like, all right, it's like nicely done up, cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's like, um, I'm t more talking about the foods and shop varieties. Um, like Planet Organic um, and Whole Food shops and um, farmers market shops and stuff like that. And it's like, all right, cool, I get that. Um, but then, um, when you come back to the ends and that, it's like raw. Man's got betting shops. Man's got more pubs. Man's got um, Londis. Man's got fucking Nissa and all that. When man, man go to certain areas, bruv, you don't see. Um, when you go to like nice areas and stuff, you don't see like Londis. You don't see Nissa and that. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and one thing I've noticed as well is um, like betting shops. Um, every time I go to like like Hackney or um, or North London and that, like up north, um, it's like raw man see bare betting shops. And obviously they put betting shops more in poorer areas because they know people are more likely. Because you, it's like a gamble, isn't it? It's gam, it is gambling. So if you've got it, you might up. You might not, but more time you lose in it. Um, that's why I don't gamble in it because I would rather have it than not have it and chance it. I'm not like that. I'm not about chance. Um, yeah, let's wander down here. Um, so yeah, it's like yeah. When I go to like nicer areas, man, don't really see betting shops in that. And it's like, all right, cool. I see how things are kind of going in that. Um, but yeah, man's more. This video is more for the um, like the food and stuff. Like. Um, yeah, the more, should we say, um, nicer the area, the more nicer the shops are going to be. Um, so that means um, better health to a certain degree. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, um, where I'm at, they got, I think the one, I think Waitrose. Waitrose is like the probably like the probably the best well the healthiest op not the healthiest option um i don't even know what to i don't even know what to put it but yeah like waitrose um they got some um they got some um small 
um, small shops that do like uh, well so-called organic food and stuff but um, obviously because they're smaller you've got to pay extra and stuff but we ain't got no planet organic we ain't got no whole food, no whole food um whole food shops um we ain't got no farmers market and all that um so it's like all right cool like obviously when you go to certain areas obviously um uh, what's the word what was i going to say yeah strategically placed i'd say because obviously say for instance um yeah when you go to posher areas and stuff um or like i don't know when i went down to chelsea um during lockdown it's like whoa chelsea is like a different world isn't it and i was like wow like yeah it really is like yeah i don't know um i don't venture down to chelsea much but um when i did i was like raw okay so like when um they got the that show what's it called um is it only ways chelsea or whatever the fuck it's called i don't know what it's called or whatever but um it's like wow chelsea is literally really a different place and stuff and that like yeah i don't know it's just like yeah I, it's not that i didn't get a good feeling from it it's just like yeah it's um yeah it's different isn't it yeah and it's only down the road it's like fucking i don't know half an hour back rad or whatever but um i'm starting to see how like like it's been everything's with um strategy in it like divide and conquer and having the poor and the rich live inside by side each other and they're kind of still divided should i say um but yeah it's just um yeah i don't know i'm just getting more i'm noticing it more in it um like how like i was saying about the food the food shops like when i go um hackney um south london and stuff like i'm just seeing bare chicken shops chicken shops chicken shops kebab shops um and then when you go to the posh areas like man don't i don't think man sees one one chicken shop or well, it might be a high class chicken shop or something but um you don't see none of them like pfc perfect fried chickens and all that shit it's like all right cool like obviously they're giving out the the shit food to the poor people to a certain degree obviously if it like it was it even down chelsea i swear i didn't even see no chicken shops down chelsea and that and um yeah they ain't got bare betting shops and that but it's like um just going down the road down hackney well, there's like two or three betting shops in like a square re radius like one there one across the road and then one up the road it's like right like yeah they don't make it um and obviously in more poorer areas as well obviously there's other um i'm not saying that like rich areas they don't have this but um like more drug and alcohol problems and stuff like um that's been strategically placed as well like um like when you go to posh neighborhoods and stuff you don't really see crack or heroin do you know what i'm saying but when you go to poorer neighborhoods you see bear crack and heroin do you know what i'm saying um so that's another strategy thing um when you go to more posh areas it's more cocaine do you know what i'm saying so it's like ah right, cool like um yeah it's just fucked to see how the system is designed and stuff um <clears throat> like from um the shops the food to even like um the way you're treating people to a certain degree you know <clears throat> but um what else was i gonna say but yeah man it was just mainly um about the food shops man it was mainly about the food shops because yeah going to when you go to posh areas um yeah they got more selection of food if that makes sense not more selection but the quality that's the word the quality of food is better yeah that's the word i was looking for the quality of food is better um which is kind of wrong like um yeah because it means obviously fucking if you're living in a poorer 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 um area your quality of food is going to be poorer so that means your quality of life is going to be poorer to a certain degree yeah and obviously if you're in a more richer area your quality of food is going to be better so your quality of life is going to be better um so yeah it's some some of the some of the um some of the challenges we got to face in the matrix um 
yeah, quite challenging. Some of them, some of the challenges we've got to go through are quite, um, yeah. Like if you want to eat better, you've got to sacrifice certain things, should I say. Um, obviously the price of everything is going up as well. So you've got to be tried to be mindful of that. Um, yeah, so there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Everything is just being shaped. No, it's already been shaped. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, it's already been shaped and we're kind of, well, somewhat dismantling it, but um, yeah, it's not, it's not, um, yeah, it's quite sad to know fucking um, how the system's been made. And like, obviously, when you're outside of the matrix looking in, it's like, yeah, you've got um, seeing your brothers and sisters and the masses, how they're being treated and how control and society is. It's quite sad, man. It's very sad. It's very sad. Because um, like, I'm more of an observer. I'm like on the outside looking in. And it's like, um, yeah, that's if it's a look. Like a betting shop. And before there used to be another one as well. Um, I think it was across the road. And it's like, raw, like obviously these times, and they don't help people, you know. If you've got a drug alcohol problem or um, a gambling problem, like, they don't, they're not there to help you. Like, for instance, when was it? Because um, I had a problem with alcohol. So I had to go to a detox for like 10 days or whatever. Um, but alcohol is like, even when I went to my alcohol course, they were saying alcohol is basically like the worst drug out there because it's so widely accessible. Um, it's a part of, part of people's culture as well. So like the Scottish and the Irish, it's a part of their culture. If you're not drinking, you're gonna look like there's something wrong with you, innit? So, um, yeah, there's not much help out there. So if you've got like some problem, um, drug alcohol problem or gambling problem, um, yeah, there's not much help out there. Um, let alone having mental health problems on top of having a drug, alcohol or gambling problem. Um, this is what I just observe. Um, but yeah, this is what I've just like, observed, innit? Because um, I know people with all, all like drug, alcohol and mental health issues, you know? And gambling problems, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I've seen it all. And um, yeah. It's fucking sad how the system's been created, you know? And um, obviously, to um, make more control, you cut funding and make it harder to, make it more harder for certain things to be accessible. So, um, let's say for instance, um, what they're basically trying to do, I think, yeah, is, um, what is going to happen, um, they're going to try and make the N NH NHS private in England, yeah? So this is where they're going to be using the, um, what happened in, t in 2020 as a like, oh yeah, it's hard to get an appointment and like trying to get a doctor's appointment right now is just a madness, isn't it? So um, they're going to say, oh yeah, it's backed up, backed up, backed up and then in a few, you know, I don't know, I, I can't put a time limit on it. But they'll start saying, um, yeah, trying to privatise it. As, um, so if you want to get seen, you have to pay for it, basically, like America. Um, so, all right, that's cool. But one thing is, if it, people have to go private and shit, I would say don't be lying, um, lying in the NHS's pocket. Go to a normal private person who's been a private practitioner for years not just because they want to make money off of the people. Um, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's just madness. But that's what I can foresee coming anyway. Because I've been waiting for a doctor's appointment for like, like a whole year, almost. A whole year um, to get my throat checked out or whatever. And it's like, all right, cool. Like I just got to go with the flow and just trust the process or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just don't like the way um, yeah, just from being an observer from the outside looking in. It's, it's sad. It's sad. And these times, yeah, in reality, Mother Earth provides for all their children, yeah? So, we don't really have to pay for food. 
Yeah. yeah. We're the only species on Earth who has to pay for food. And we're meant to be the smartest species. That don't make no sense, dog. Yeah, don't make no sense. Yeah, don't make no sense. Like, there's enough to go around. There's enough to go around and people um, want divide and conquer. They, don't, they, want, they, they want divide. And they also, these certain low vibrational entities, they fear a world of love because that's a world that they can't control. So they want to keep you in fear and at a low vibration. Because when you're at a low vibration, you're more easy to control. You're easy to look outside yourself for authority and guidance, should I say. That was a bit of a channeled message. Okay, cool, say nothing. Um, yeah, so, yeah. It's just about trying to work through your heart center and being kind to your fellow man. Um, your brothers and sisters, because we're all in this together, man. Um, but yeah, it was just only a little quick video about um, like how things have been strategically placed, like shops, betting shops, alcohol shops, um, whole food sailors in different areas, and it's accessible to the few, should I say? Yeah, the few, man. Yeah, like if you're fortunate to live in a nicer area, then you're gonna have the, the luxury of um, going to them shops and stuff but um, obviously if you live in a lesser um, like a poorer area um, certain things are going to be less accessible man which is quite sad but yeah we just gotta make the most out of that bad situation um, yeah and do the best with what do the best with what we got anyway but um, peace love and light tribe and I'm gonna hit you guys up real soon